I've just been to the Harley Davidson shop and ordered a new Harley Davidson. It's what? a very black customized hold on, hold thing. It. It's not like Hammond, that what knob's is, chariot. What's wrong with you? What? What is wrong with you? What? Why? Have you not worked out going fast on wheels equals ah. possible early death? Ah. <laughs> yes, I have. Well, why are you buying yourself a motorbike now? Because I've always ridden sports bikes, and now I'm buying not a sports bike. It's a big, scary one. Okay. So I'm going to have it specially made so that it's really scary and it makes children cry even when it's not moving. But That's you do my... seem pretty... Well, there, there's a picture of you when you were a younger man. Look at what is a good-looking fella. <laughs> How old are you there, do you think, Richard? I don't know. That's faintly embarrassing, actually. <laughs> I don't know. Was that on your way what to a... or home from a gay bar? <laughs> <laughs> Well, he needs a stick on moustache. He's laughing. It's Tom of Finland. It's funny you should say that. I was looking at the picture and thinking, I quite fancied me. <laughs> which is wrong. Um, I don't know. I was about 20 or something. Good looking young man. Good looking young man. Now, look at that. <laughs> this is very embarrassing. You've <laughs> been through my wife's handbag. Hey, but you know what? You don't look that much older. You look pretty good. Uh, what do you mean, don't look that now? Oh, it's aged me. What's going on there? Look. Look at that. <laughs> this is comfortable. This is ever so comfortable. These are all in your book. And that looks like you, someone's out, looked at you in a bar and you go, you screwing me up, mate. You ready for a fight? Well, I was a little fighter, though. Were you? Short bloke brought up in Yorkshire. What do you think? That's what we used to do. Thursday night, fight. I bet you're like a little pug. Oh, yes. Yeah. Non-stop. OK. Uh, you seem to me someone who is. Would I be right thinking that you were, up until this point, maybe, I don't know if you still are, a bit of a thrill seeker? Would that be fair? Yes. Oh, yeah, I can't, I can't do it. Yes, I am. And I'm do not you... reckless with it, no, but... Uh, were you reckless when you were younger? Yes. OK. What's the, what's the uh, silliest thing you've ever done, do you think, or what's the riskiest thing? Oh, just a million things on motorbikes and... Just the way you me mouth it. off to much bigger blokes than me yeah. and <laughs> rough downs. Um, but, yeah, not, not... I don't think I was ever that reckless. But you still... still I know it's... I used for... to think I was a real rebel. And then when talking to Mindy, I was a bit of a boy scout, actually. Why? Because Mindy's had a rougher life. Been a bit wilder. She may have been. <laughs> but if Mindy's like that, oh, she can hear now. I yeah. forgot she's here. Yeah, she, no, she she was a she was in like a choir, and <laughs> I met her when she was a nun. You were confused. You were you were thinking about your French wife, weren't you? She yes. was, she was the troublemaker. <laughs> Mindy was throwing out the brownies for swearing. I never even did that. <laughs> so, were you in the Scouts, Richard? Bit. Yeah. <laughs> See, Scouts and brownies get together. Yeah. I was in the boys' brigade. I had to find someone who'd been in the girls' guide. Still, still got your uniform? I was captain of the yellow team in the Imps. <laughs> I was hoping a... someone might be a bit impressed by that. <laughs> I was captain of the yellow team. You have still got your uniform, though. I think Helen's quite impressed by my uh, being captain of the yellow team. Carries a lot of weight, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Yellow team especially. I was a sixer in Cubs. No one cares about you in the Cubs. <laughs> They're still just absorbing jealous. my success with You're the Imps. <laughs> Um, all right, let me ask you about Top Gear at the moment, because it seems to me that in that situation, on that show, you still find yourself in risky positions. I know, I know they obviously they take care to try and make them safe, but recently you've gone with the fellas to the North Pole. Yes. I saw an episode where you were driving in the deep South America with cars covered in slogans designed to anger less educated gentlemen than us. Well, Jeremy had country music is rubbish. James had Hillary for president, and I had Man Love Rules OK painted down the side of my pickup. <laughs> Uh, which it does. That's a marvellous <laughs> thing. But it was, I was nervous. They took it badly. Why? They chased us for three stages. Yeah, but what did you expect? <laughs> well, I expected a sort of... <laughs> <laughs> you Brits. <laughs> no, we're going to kill y'all now. <laughs> <laughs> three stakes in pickups with guns. Big men. And I honestly thought I was going to wake up tied to a tree and hear squirrel like a piggy. This, <laughs> or this one's man. He's got pretty hair. <laughs> I didn't want to. <laughs> If you were going to anally wait one of the Top Gear hosts, Richard would be the top of everyone's list. <laughs> that's a comforting thought for me, thank you. I suspect that's the first time that sentence has ever been uttered on a BBC show. I very much hope so, yeah. <laughs> Ant and Deck were planning it on one of their challenges there uh, a few weeks ago. <laughs> um, Richard, how lovely to see you. Before we go, uh, I want to ask you to, to make me a promise, OK? And I'm assuming your memory is now functioning OK. And by the way, did you ever use it as an excuse to get out of things? Did you say... Every it? week, mate. It's brilliant. <laughs> Parties. Hello. Oh, I've forgotten your name. This happens a lot lately. It's really, <laughs> it's really hard. Okay. I can forget anything I like. want you to promise me this, that you will, you will make sure, you will, to the best of your ability, ensure that Jeremy Clarkson is never allowed behind a drum kit ever again. Publicly. You did know you what I'm that? referring to. That yes. was poor. Top Gear for Comic Relief formed what we laughing refer to as a supergroup. OK? It was embarrassing, wasn't it? It was poor. Would you like to see it again? <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? Have you seen that advert at the moment where there's a, a gorilla drumming to Phil Collins? 
<laughs> if the gorilla were uglier, we've got <laughs> it. Here we go, look at this, this is embarrassing. How's a guy supposed to get better? You're brain damaged, you get out of you recover, and then you're doing that. Is that <laughs> am I really on stage with a man who can't drum and a man with ladies' hair playing keyboard? It was not good. Um, hey, before you go, I hope that the book does well for you. It's a fantastic read. It's a genuinely, oh, it's a, it's a, obviously it's a gripping story, but it's a lovely story as well. And the photographs of you and your wife and your beautiful girls are lovely in it. And Mindy's a lot better at writing than she I She is am. a very good writer. Yeah. I was wondering whether you plan any other books, either together or solo. Yeah. Uh, we have mocked up a few covers. We thought you might right. want to consider the romance. <laughs> nice. Oh, I'm liking that. You no, know, that's not a bad one. That's not my favourite. This one's slightly better. Hampshire and the Hot Tub. Yes. But I think if you really want to go for the bald appeal, consider this, if you will. You see, that's something. <laughs> that's the most disturbing thing I've ever seen. I can only hope I'm going to hear a beep in a minute and wake up back in hospital. <laughs> <laughs> the sleep oh, really? that Hampshire and his lover. Look oh, at that. That's... Hey. Already banned in Scandinavia. God, that's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh. <laughs> that's going to haunt me. I, I close my. I can still see it. I can still see it. I can still. That's. It's quite horrible, isn't it? It's really. Uh, amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in saying thank you to a splendid guest and a lovely man, Mr. Richard Hammond. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was great. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. That was horrible, wasn't it? Yeah, that was really nice. <laughs> thank you, Richard Hammond. Now.